It's now time to bring out our guests, and I am actually very excited about this guy. Uh, he is on what I consider to be one of the best television shows I have ever seen, and I think it is one of the best television shows on the air right now. From HBO's Emmy and Golden Globe award-winning show Veep, it's Kevin Dunn. I believe we have a clip. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't make two perfectly pleasant words so irritating. And here he is, the man who can't take a leak without pulling his balls. Bring me my cerise-colored binder, Jonah. Cerise? Yes, sir. VP's base visit today. Secretary of Defense Maddox is living up to his name. He's mad as an ox. I'm sure I can break up any cat fights when I get there. The Veep's more concerned with the hostage situation. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to POTUS last night. He had a pro-strike hawk boner the size of Jonah, and then you talked to him about it this morning, and he's suddenly totally against the operation. All I do is provide POTUS with the polls. Cold numbers. God, I hate numbers. I mean, there's cultures that don't even have any numbers, and they do just fine. Well, Ben, it seems like you're ill-suited for your job, and you should resign. Ben's breakdown aside, the VP feels we need a quick military strike here. Yeah, precise and surgical, like your lobotomy, Ken. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Dunn! Nice. Hey. Oh, Already the audience, Kevin really? Dunn, you're a fucking professional. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm taking you for all you got. I got a Kroger water here. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is literally all we got. Only the so finest. Please return that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the big Pacoima Springs. Yeah, yeah. Nestle stole it and they put it under a different name. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it like working on uh, the new season of Veep? Uh, we just started rehearsals, so we have a we have a new showrunner this year, mm -hmm. Dave Mendel, and um, uh, we, we still got three writers from the last uh, three Brits from across the pond still, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, rehearsals are good. We we uh, read a couple scripts, and they're back scribing away. So we'll go back into rehearsals. Uh, I think the first week of September. Oh, nice. Keep, but they're great. They're just some fabulous writers, and and we're shooting here. So nice. Now you were telling me something interesting backstage that even though it's a you know it's a it's a thirty minute show, they actually write about fifty five pages per episode. Yeah, we shoot we actually shoot about fifty fifty five pages, and um, and then they boil it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot of I mean we do it in a week and. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Work intensive, but it's a blast. I, so. I bet. And what's it like? Um, you know, on a set, are they very understanding of like, you know. You're in the room with so many great comedians, Julie Louis Dreyfus being one of them. I mean, how often do they give you guys the opportunity to riff? Just say, you know, here's the scene, and then we're going to do another take, and you just do whatever the hell you want. They give us takes, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and um, not, not being from kind of the improv world, I did, I did, uh, I was in Del, classes, Del, Del Close's class oh, wow. years ago. Before he turned into a skull. Del. <laughs> Del. Until he wanted to. Was that to, your Joe Close impression? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrifying. I used, to, yeah. I used to tend bar, and he used to. I used to see him more at the bar that I tended than. But I remember he wanted to maybe try some improv on LSD. I was like, I have a tough enough time serving you a drink, Dal. So that was the end of my my career as an impro improvisation oh, actor. Oh, that's awesome. So it was kind of terrifying at first. Mm -hmm. I came in in the second season and, and uh, you know, I'd get my script and I'd memorize all my lines and mm -hmm. then they'd keep rewriting and I'd memorize those and then you'd get to the set and they'd give you all new pages. And I, it was like the actor's nightmare come to life. <laughs> so um, they were very helpful, Julia, Matt, and. Uh, you know, everybody said, you just can't memorize. Mm -hmm. You'll get it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it, it was terrifying to me. What's like the worst experience you've ever had? I feel like we're on the road of nightmares. It was on a Brian De Palma movie. It was. <laughs> it shows you that even though you get a job, you can still be totally humiliated. <laughs> I did a, a movie for him called Snake Eyes. He called me and he said, um, one of the few directors ever to call me and offer me a movie. But, but anyway, he called me and, and said, did you read it? I said, yeah, I read it. I said, there's one of the lead characters in it is named Kevin Dunn. I said, what the fuck is that about? 
<laughs> he said, oh, I just love your name. I said, well, why don't you put me in that role? <laughs> no, no, that's going to be Gary Sinise. <laughs> fine, fine. I go up there and usually they, they pick you up in a, a van, you know, the transpo picks you up, and, you know, unless you're Gary Sinise. <laughs> And uh, tra uh, I'm waiting for transpo, looking for a white van, and this stretch limo pulls up, and the guy comes on and goes, oh, well, Mr. Dunn. You know, he's kind of like, I'm like, yeah, hey, how are you? Let me take you to, to your hotel. So we drive from the airport to the hotel. We get to this hotel. It's beautiful, old, kind of ornate, kind of French, very, in, in the old town of, of uh, Montreal, really gorgeous. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And I walk into the lobby and everybody's going, hello, Mr. Dunn. <laughs> ah, Mr. Dunn, good to see you. I'm like, hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hold your balls. <laughs> so, Did they get my stuff. A <laughs> little guy came up. And said, yeah, okay. But, um, so we get on the elevator. Usually you haul your own shit around. Let me, oh, let me take your bags, Mr. Dunn. <laughs> So we get on, and he hits the elevator button, PH. Penthouse, we go up to the penthouse. I walk in, it's like a 40-foot circular in diameter room with two bedrooms and two baths with bidets and everything. And I'm like, God, he's such a cheapskate. I mean, he didn't pay me any. Maybe he feels guilty for not paying me anything. And they get this great room, and you know, I'm you know, lying around on every couch and every chair and, you know, go to both bathrooms and... And the bidets. And, you know, the bidets. <laughs> and, <laughs> bidet montage. Like a huge bidet montage. <laughs> yeah. I call my wife. I said, I'm like, Kat, I don't, I don't know what, you got to come up here. I said, this is like incredible. I got this beautiful place. You got to come up and stay here for, for a while. So I actually kind of fell asleep in the TV, like in the fantasy world in this big cushy chair and stuff. About 11 o'clock, the phone rings. You're in the wrong room. <laughs> That's Gary Sinise's room. <laughs> That's his suite. He's coming in in an hour. You gotta get the fuck out of there. And he expects a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> so I had all the beds all messed up and everything and you know, jumping around and everything. And they came and, and you know, no one spoke to me, of course. As they left the hotel, they were all. <laughs> so I was scurried away to the, some dog shit hotel. <laughs> and there I spent my time. No bidet. No bidet. <laughs> no toilet. Um, I have to say that Veep is one of the best shows as a comedian. I think like you and everyone else on that show are incredible. And it has been an absolute pleasure having you on. And please come back and do it again or at least tweet us. I will freak out. <laughs> I'd love to. Fantastic. Kevin All Dunn, right. everyone! Thank you so much! Thank you so much. Thank you for watching After Dark with Julian Clark. Thank you to Golden Road Brewing, Second City Hollywood. Catch us live on our next show, September 20th. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, After Dark Clark. Thank you so much for coming out to our show. Have a good night! Thank you.